Megalophobia is the phobia of massive things. It's probably why so many people are scared of me. But today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the best examples of, of megalophobia to test. If if you have megalophobia, just a cool rendition of what I imagine could be under the Great Pyramids. I mean, no, no, that's no. Lake, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that causeway, which is the longest in the world, shows the true curvature of the earth. You see, that doesn't give me like megalophobia. You know, it's sort of just, I don't know, it's quite cool, I think. This massive tower. Collapse. There she goes, there she goes. Oh my god. Does it go I can't tell if it's fallen like that or just like dumb. I can't tell. I need to give that another quick look. I can't tell. I've always wondered with those things, like those big sort of like tower things or cranes, like surely they just fall over all the time. Well, maybe not all the time, but like surely they're like prone to falling over. Fierce curtains terrified me as a kid. Seeing this makes my skin crawl. Yeah, that is that is quite horrifying because the thing is right, curtains are heavy. I know because I tried to put up my own, but I couldn't because I, I tried to just get like a copper bar and put it up there. But you need like a proper like support system to hold just regular curtains up. But if that falls on you, you are dead. Norwegian cruise line ship hitting iceberg in Alaska. We just hit an iceberg. We just hit an iceberg. I mean, that's not that big. That's not that bigger. I guess, I guess it is like underneath it's like oh so much bigger, gosh. but that don't get, that's not megalophobia. That's just scary. Lakewood Church in Texas capacity 45,000 people. Is this really necessary? I guess that many people just want to go. The American church, like mega churches are so weird. They're like they're like arenas. Like imagine going to like, I don't know, Wembley to go to church. Right, that's not a real thing though. That looks CGI. That can't be a real thing. Hang on, I'm looking in the comments. Is that a real thing? Yeah, I don't think it is real. I mean, no one's mentioning it's real in the comments, so I don't think it's real. So, I mean, it does give, it gives you a little bit of fear. Like, big things underwater are just inherently more scary than, like, big things above water. Because, like, how how did they get down there? That's not real. Don't care. Taiwan 7-Eleven mascot open chan flies away. <laughs> he looks he looks so at peace. <laughs> This is how it would look if Saturn was the same distance as the moon. Like, I don't know. I feel I feel as though that's just cool. That's just cool. Obviously, it would be scary if that just happened. Like, one night, like, you're just looking up at the sky and Saturn is huge. But, like, I don't know. That's just cool. This monolithic cave formation in Australia. That's just really cool. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, no, that, I don't like that. Actually, you know what? After the second time watching it, right? This guy's obviously on a small boat. Like, I don't know. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I, I feel as though I just don't have megalophobia. Wait, what? Hang on. What the fuck is going on? At first, I thought that was like CGI. What the... I mean, I don't think you have to have, like, megalophobia to be scared of that. Like, the, the, the road just disappearing. Megalodon attack edit. Right, so they've edited, I'm guessing, a megalodon shark. I, I can't, I don't actually know how, oh, wow. Okay, I mean, if that is the actual scale of a megalodon, that is a lot bigger than I thought a megalodon would be. I thought it was just, like, a slightly bigger great white or something. What the fuck? I don't think, okay, all right, all right, all right. Just stating the obvious, I don't think a megalodon could cut a sh like a ship in half. I don't think it has that kind of strength. I don't know why, why that comes in. I don't know why a plane crashed into the head of it, but all right, all right. That huge TV in Mike Tyson's abandoned house. That's just such an inconvenient place for a TV to be. I don't understand when people have their TVs so high up on the wall. Like you're just having to crane your neck to look at it. Also, that carpet is horrendous. Aquatar Water Park, Qatar. That looks quite cool. I don't know how you get, how you distinguish each slide, but that looks quite cool. I would go to there if it is still open. It looks pretty abandoned, but I, I'd still go there. What would you do? Um, I mean, what, what do you mean, what would I do if a giant planet was hurtling towards Earth? I don't think there's much I could do. Hyperion, the world's tallest living tree. That is a sick name for a tree, by the way. But also, I don't know, what kind of species is that tree? And why are there no others in the area? All the other trees are so much smaller. These questions need to be asked. They probably are answered. I just, I'm just too lazy to look them up. This whole wait for the sound when it hits the ground. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, no, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. But again, I don't think that's. I feel as though megalophobia is like uh, sort of almost almost like an irrational fear of just giant objects. That is a very rational fear. <laughs> Falling into a giant hole is a very rational fear. World's largest temple chariot. It's three hundred tons and ninety six feet tall. What is a temple chariot? Wait, what on earth? What? That looks kind of sick. I, mean, I can't really see what it is because this video isn't very well done, but is that what they're on about? That's pretty cool. Just something about how this being able to float is stressing me out somehow. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, I don't know. I don't trust cruise ships. They Like, this one especially seems a bit too top heavy. Yeah, I know. Cruise ships scare me because I don't, I don't like the idea of being stuck on something. Like, it, I, I don't like that with planes where, like, you know, you're sat down. You're, st you're sat there for the duration of the flight. Living on a cruise ship for a couple weeks seems terrifying to me. What heavy rain time lapse? Oh, that's actually quite cool. That's quite cool. I like I like the heavy rain time lapse. Wait, how quickly can he drain the bucket? Oh, I could do that faster. Girl poses next to an F1 tornado a mile away. Why? Why would you do that? I didn't know there were like tornadoes that like, like that like mental. I always I thought like they were always exaggerated in film. But that looks mad. I can't stop looking at the underwater cliff these two boats are floating over. Yeah, the ocean is fucking terrifying. Like every time I don't go out to swim in the sea often. Last time I did it was about a year ago. But every time I go out to swim in the sea, I'm just having a nice chill time. Just you know. Out, basically out as far as you can go before they put that little rope around. Just chilling. And then I remember sea monsters and I, I frantically swim back. Like sea monsters definitely exist, don't they? US Navy 40,000 pound bomb test near aircraft carrier. What? Wait, did they blow up the aircraft carrier? Well, just to see if that would blow it up. Like, yeah, of course that would blow up the fucking aircraft carrier. The second largest known near earth asteroid, Eros. Yeah, fuck it, we'll be fine. Wait, what? This Chinese dragon billboard is the coolest thing I have ever seen. I think it belongs here. I want this billboard to be the size of a building. What the fuck? This is probably gonna make me sound really thick, but how the fuck are they doing that? I, like, there are some that like are made to look like they're like they, they've got depth or whatever, um, and those are just video screens. But this doesn't look like there's a video screen. It probably is, but that's crazy. Oh, I hate these. A pair of scuba divers has captured a rare video and photos of a 2.5 meter giant squid s swimming off the waters in Japan's west coast. Oh, uh, there is no reason for such a horror to exist, is there? Like, why would you go near that thing? That thing's fucking terrifying. Oh no, I hate it. I hate it. I will still eat squid though. Terrifying New Zealand airport. Why? Like, why would you have, like, people probably already feel really unsettled in an airport. Why would you have this? This jumbo plane peeking out of storage. Well, it's nice they, they made a door to accommodate for it. <laughs> 67 pound goldfish, the carrot. Ah, oh, I like him. He's cute. This is a ship shipping, ship shipping, ships, shipping ships. Why don't you just move all these ships? Well, obviously that's what it's doing, but why don't you just go, like, send them off one by one? I guess maybe because they need to be built. I don't know. Ivy cover pole looks like a giant hooded figure. Yeah, that's fucking terrifying. Like, imagine like you're sleeping in one of these buildings. You look out at night and it's just it's just illuminator. Oh, no, join us, play with us forever. What is this? My first thought is like a bingo hall, but I, I don't. What is that? I okay. I think a lot. I think it is bingo. I think it is bingo. God, that's dystopian, isn't it? Size of the dinosaur killing asteroid. Yeah, well, no, I think humans are just built different. I don't think that really affects us too much. <laughs> Why the fuck would you go in the pool when there is a lightning storm going on? Are you mental? Are you like actually insane? You have a fucking death wish, my friend. This isn't even just a little bit of lightning. This is constant lightning. I didn't, what the fuck? That's not real. I'm looking that up. There's no, surely that's just perspective. It's not actually that big. Uh, yeah, okay, right. It's big, but it's not as big as they let on in this picture. I was about to say, that would be quite scary. Imagine getting mowed over by that. Sleep high and tight. I don't understand why people would do this. Like, you genuinely have a fucking death wish. What the hell? Behold, the floating terror yacht named Pangeo, measuring 550 meters in length and 610 meters at its widest point in the wings, will maybe become the world's largest structure ever built. That is quite sick. I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty sick. I'm, I'm guessing that's like, maybe like a cruise ship or something. I don't, I don't see why anyone else, I don't see why someone would need that as like a private 
private yacht. But that's sick. I would go on that. Like I said something earlier about cruise ships being like scary or whatever. I would go on the turtle cruise ship though. The size of an aircraft carrier. Ah, no, lady, you're gonna get you're gonna get run over. Giant basketball LED in MSG Sphere Vegas. Yeah, that thing is fucking terrible. Like the big. I don't know if you guys have seen it, the big sphere in Vegas. But I'll get some pictures of it up. It's like it's freaky. Like it's just this big thing, and then they they can project any like image onto it, and it's just I don't know. It's scary. They did one which was like an eye. No, no, thank you. Wind turbines being destroyed to be replaced with updated models. Yeah, I'd survive 